right, let's go over uh, the kind of the, the very basic or the easiest way to look at a transform. We have four things going on in the transform as the diagram that you can see on the screen shows you. We have a style sheet or a transform, and I'll usually call them transforms, not style sheets, but because their root element is the word style sheet, oftentimes they're called style sheets. But I don't like that because that, com that conflates with the, um, the idea of a CSS style sheet. So I'll always call them transforms or sometimes templates. Then you have the XML source or input. That's the instance file. Then you have the output, and the output is a set of tags. And those tags are, in this case, HTML files. And that output has two different views. There's our view of it, which is the, um, the way it looks when you just look at the tags. And then there's the end user view, which is what we're actually aiming for. The target, what we're trying to accomplish, is to create an output file that's a view of the instance that's useful to the end user. And we do that using the transform. OK, so let's take a look at this particular example. Our source is very simple. It has three tags in it. The root tag is called source, and then it has a title and an author tag in it. And in the output, we want to have the title in an H1 tag and the author in an H2 tag. And you can see that that HTML view makes the, the title very large and the author a little bit smaller. We're going to use this style sheet in order to make that happen. And I want, you to, I want you to pay attention only to a few aspects of this style sheet at this early time. I want you to see what's doing the real work and forget about the surrounding things that we'll talk about later. But I want you to see the two workhorses there. The first workhorse is surrounded by an, uh, an HTML tag. The second, uh, uh, that's surrounded by an HTML H1 tag. That's our first workhorse. Our second workhorse is surrounded by the HTML H2 tag inside of that style sheet. Okay, so focus just on those two little parts and notice that there's two things going on. There's the HTML tag. Inside the HTML tag is something that says XSL colon. That's an XSL command. And that XSL command is responsible for retrieving information from the instance and putting it inside of that HTML tag. So we have an H1, and inside that we have an XSL command that's called value of. This is the value of command. This is the big one. This is the one you'll use over and over again. And it does exactly what it says it's going to do. It gets the value of something. And now you scan a little bit further and forget the, all the fancy slashes and quotes and all that kind of stuff. We'll get to all that stuff later. And we see that it says select title. I want the value of the title. Select that title for me and give me the value of it and then put it in between the H1 tags. Okay, that's the first one. Now let's look at the second one. It's an H2 tag and inside the H2 tag there's that same workhorse, XSL value of. This time I want the value of the author. And so that command is going to select the value of the author and put it in between the H2 command. Okay, so at this level, it's really very simple. And I want you to think at this level first before you start diving into all the complexity. And I don't want you to get lost in all of the syntax and the slashes and what command do I use and how come my transform isn't well formed and all that kind of stuff that you'll get to later and just see it very simply at first. And the simple idea is this, this style sheet, this transform, this template takes values out of the instance and combines them with HTML tags. And the very simplest and the most powerful command that we're going to use, and we'll use it over and over again, is this value of command that gives me the value of some tag and puts it in between two HTML delimiters.